Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion on bokeh. Uh, let's get started. So the next thing that we're going to want to talk about when we're uh, utilizing bokeh is going to be adding uh, in and customizing renderers. Uh, and so this is going to be uh, using different types of glyphs. So uh, glyphs itself are something like the circle, the line, uh, and that's how um, how we actually call um, these items inside of, of uh, Bokeh. So let's go on and uh, use start up our new project here. And let me say something like, here I want to create um, uh, a file. Let's call this um, uh, uh, glyph examples uh, dot pi. Okay. And then I'm going to go on and open this up. And let's go on and get started with um, some of some of our basics again. So we're going to start off with um, with circles. Okay. Um, so our basic imports again is going to be um, our basic imports. We want from bokeh dot plotting. Uh, we want to import here figure and show. And then we're going to. Um, prepare some data and you know what I think I'm going to go on and uh, open up our line one and I'm going to take that data that we used before I'm going to go on and paste that in here uh, so that we don't have to recreate everything um, and then let's go on and create our plot here uh, we're going to create our figure so um, our plotting area here is going to be uh, figure and uh, we want to give it a title here of um, let's call them bokeh glyph examples okay and then um, we'll have our label of x axis label is going to be x y uh, axis label here is going to be just y um, and then let's go on and add renderers okay and our glyphs so the first one we're going to do is going to add our line okay so this is going to be the same as what we had done before now um, x y1 here our legend Our legend label uh, we're going to call this um, just the line okay uh, our line color here is going to be uh, we'll just do the standard blue uh, a line width here mm, line width is what uh, line width let's just do two again uh, and then we're going to do something like um, p dot circle okay um, and we'll do x and y uh, y2 here uh, uh, legend label is going to be uh, let's call this um, I don't know uh, red yeah we'll change this one up to blue line again so we'll blue line uh, red circle uh, and then uh, so we have here's here's the thing though when we are making these circles okay um, we actually need to put in for example an actual uh, line color in there to make the outside so line color here and we'll make this um, I'll just say yellow for now so it'll stand out uh, and our size here, we're just going to do a standard size of 10. Um, and I misspelled circle. Okay, and then I want to, you know what, let's just do the standard color. So I'm just going to say circle for now. Okay, and I'm going to run this so that you guys can see what this looks like initially. Oh, whoops. And um, again, here, let me go on and do um, show P. And so the first one that we have 
here is oops, is this one right here. And so you can see here that, again, we have our blue line, uh, our yellow circle. And so let me, let me go here and can I get closer? It's not really going to make it any bigger for me. Whoops. But what happens, there's actually a yellow circle around that. It's probably hard to tell now. But when you guys plot this yourselves, you'll be able to see. Um, and so let me pull back up. My graph here and then let's go on and maybe um, do a bar plot as well and so I'm actually gonna let me put it here for now p dot bar um, x y 3 legend label is going to be bar uh, and then width here is 0 0.5 uh, the bottom is going to be zero, and our color here, whoop, color is going to be red. Uh, and let me let's kind of uh, talk about this now. The V bar again here is just for vertical bar, um, and so let me just add this at the end. We're going to run this. Oops, and what was my error here? Oh, I said bar instead of V bar. So this is a V bar for vertical bar. And so you can see here that it did not show up correctly at the moment. And so I need to check and see where is it actually supposed to be. All right. So again, it did not quite show up where we want it to. So here we have, um, oh, that's why. OK, so this actually is not. This is, this is, there's a little bit of different syntax here is X. And then this here needs to be top. Okay. Um, and let's, let me double check now. Let's rerun that. And so now you can actually see this. Now we do have a bit of a problem here. Okay. Because this, uh, it, it will render things in order. Okay. So you can see here that right here, we have a bit of a, a bit of an issue here. See this uh, circle? Okay, it's kind of poking its head out and it's actually behind our um, our graph, okay, our bar graph. And so we really want this to be, uh, we want these dots maybe to be in front, okay? So if we go back and we cut this out and we move it, whoops, and we change, uh, we change the order, okay? So we have the line then we have the bar, then we have the circle, and we run this, and you'll see now that these dots are in uh, in front. And again, here we can see that there's, um, and you know what, let me change, um, this is X at four. Um, so Y here is at three something. So let me change this for the bar. The bar is Y three, so let me change this to six for now and run this and notice here that now okay the dot is in front of the bar but the line is behind so again if it depends on how you want your visualization to look we can just change the order of our figure renderers okay so that they're going to be on top so you can think about as you're layering this kind of like a sandwich so again if you want that line to be on top okay and we run this notice now the line is on top personally I think that that doesn't look very good so I would go through and uh, edit that back and re-render and so now it actually would look like this and this is this is all about being able to control uh, how how your visualizations look okay you have complete control of your visualizations as we'll see uh, later on now you can also um, we can we can customize each of these okay so let's let's maybe go and talk about the the circles here for a bit um, I'm going to go on and um, comment these out 
okay and I'm going to do something like um, uh, uh, circle customization okay and so let's say that uh, and you know what I'm gonna go on and do that as well so here let's do something like um, P is equal to uh, figure and we want our uh, title here and say talk about uh, glyph properties okay and again our X label is going to be X our Y uh, axis label is going to be Y in this instance and I'm gonna stick with um, maybe X1 and maybe Y or X and uh, X and Y1 I would say so then or maybe you know what which one did we use with the circle before uh, Y2 so we'll do uh, X um, and Y so let's create a new circle and we'll start talking about the features so here we want P dot uh, circle and we want X Y uh, Y2 all right and then let's do our legend label here is going to be um, custom circles okay and then we can do something like uh, the fill color here is going to be um, blue the um, the line color here is going to be um, red and then let me make this multi-line um, and then we also want our fill alpha so you want this to be transparent let's do uh, 0 0.5 um, and then size here we're going to say we want it as 25 for now let's render this and so notice here now we have our blue dots they are slightly transparent they have a red ring around them and let's let's maybe beef these guys up to make them a little bit bigger um, let's say let's make them 90 okay and so notice here now we actually made those uh, circles or this uh, scatter plot again you can call it a scatter plot um, much larger again changing up the properties and as we will as we will see okay um, that we can actually change up all of these um, properties um, based on data itself and we'll, we'll do that again at a later date we can also let's say that um, later on maybe we'll want to do some like interaction so when you click on it maybe it'll highlight to um, red or something else and let me just kind of show you how we can can interact with um, the glyphs okay uh, while we do that so let's let's actually uh, call this um, uh, circ for circle and then we want to actually uh, do something like um, we'll say uh, G is equal to circ dot uh, glyph okay we're grabbing we're grabbing that glyph piece there and then we'll do something like g dot fill color is going to be um, red okay and so then we can run this and notice now we actually changed up each of the, the the attributes okay and the properties of that circle to red and so then that that'll show us that we can actually put in um, event handlers and those types of things and so we can like when we do a hover over we can change it back and forth between red and blue or when we um, click on them we can have it change its color as well uh, so if you're wanting to um, do some visualizations and some interactive graphics for a presentation it allows you to really control what's going on with um, your styling options. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and we will continue this next time. Bye-bye.